let's just talk about that part again, rotation. So that rotation, you don't want to move your knees either, okay? It means you don't want the force to go here. Because that rotation is delivering the force to here. You want to deliver to your heel. So the knee should not go here like this. Because you're not actually not, your weight is not on the heel anymore. Your pressure is here. So you want to, here, okay? You're going here, here, but you're sending it down to the heel. And then it come rises up. Right? And then when it rises up, you're using your, your flexing muscles of your thighs to stop the rise. But that force that's coming up, you're going to deliver to your, your back. And back to your shoulder, to your arm here. Okay? Like this. And all you do now from here is release, let this release. And you continue the hip. So you, know, you don't want this. That same thing as horizontal. Okay, so next thing, you want to try that again? Just rotating. Yeah, feel it go down and, and push, push, you're pushing against the ground. Yeah, so it rises up. And then you stop that rise and, 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 and then let the shoulder, the, your, your, uh, the back half, half of your body rotate forward. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and you continue the rotation. You don't stop the rotation. Okay, the force, the force is going to, is going circle, but you're going to release the fist to go forward. Nice. But your fist is going to, your hip is still going to go. Because if you're too late, then your your fist is going to go over there. So it's a timing. You know, we you know, timing of just like just like striking a ball, throwing a ball. When you this point where you're going to release it, that's what's going to make it accurate, right? When you're hitting something. Check this. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I want you to feel this move. Yeah. Rather than. Yeah. I want you to feel this come up to up there. I want you to feel it come. You want to feel that force. You want yeah. Because once you get the feel of it, then you'll always feel it. Okay? Okay. I can feel that. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's do this, uh, our uh, rolling hand or whatever in pack. So we're going to uh, learn to stand on these things so that we're always aware of our legs. Not get too close and a bit, a bit to, the, uh, to the right and move it, move it back a little bit. Still too close. Too close. Okay. Okay, that, okay, that's good, right there. Yeah. Okay, so now, uh, okay, move a uh, little bit more forward, your, your toes. Yes, good. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, so this is like a, a paxal drill. Okay, so, uh, paxal drill. So you're going to punch. Okay. So keep your back straight. Alright. So, we, we're going to practice it so that we're always aware of our feet. This makes us a bit more aware of uh, our uh, feet, our structure and balance. And a common problem with the Paxo drill is, uh, you know, both the puncher and the puck guy depends on that person to stop the balance. They tend to lean, and then you're hoping this guy will punch you, it's going to stop him from uh, falling forward. So you're constantly, you know, using the upper body. So what we want to do is not do that, keep it straight, like this, and, and keeping the arm soft. No, bring, it, bring it all up, quickly, up here. Yeah. Up, up to the face, back, backhand. Okay, the face. Yeah. To the face. Okay. And we're gonna do this. So make sure that your structure is good. No, keep the back. Keep, keep the joint loose. So punch straight. So no, punch proper. Punch up. The fist back up. No. This hand is coming this way. Straight. No circle. Yes, in a straight line. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So again, just keeping the structure straight. So the same thing with the Paxo guy, it must not lean. It's always kept loose. This. Okay, so look straight. Okay. Punch. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to see structure. Good. Yeah. To the face. 
Backhand to the face. Good. Same. Keep it loose. Good. Good. Okay. Right. That's it for today. That's it for today? That's yeah. it for today. Okay. Whew. Pretty intense. Huh? That's an intense class.